Hey everybody out there in digital DJ land, it's Ian Golden back with another video. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to, or just to give you more information about, this new concept of wearable bass packs, or bass augmentation, as some are also calling it. This is a new concept that just hit Kickstarter about a year ago. There's now two devices in the market that do this, the sub packs and the bass aware. And basically these guys vibrate your body, your diaphragm, to create the sensation of being in front of a massive, massive sound system. And like probably most of you out there, when I first heard of this concept, I was kind of meh, you know, like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do that. But I got to tell you, once you try this and once you see the benefits that some of these objects can provide to both your DJing and your mixing and your music buying, you might be sold. So today I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to show you the different ways in which you might use wearable bass augmentation devices in the studio, on the stage, or at home. Dance music is all about the low end, especially the bass below 100 or 200 hertz. That's the part where the kick and the bass live that really vibrates your entire body. And it's really the vibration of your body that allows you to hear and feel those low ends. So it's very hard to replicate that in a physical space because you literally have to move a lot of air, which requires huge speakers. These bass augmentation devices create the same effect, allowing you to hear those low, deep, punchy tones by not vibrating the space around you, but vibrating you, the person. By coupling with your body and using transducers that are inside of here, it actually will vibrate your frame so you hear and feel everything down to the very, very lowest frequencies. So the very first concept that came out was this guy, which basically goes in your chair. You don't wear this, it sits in a chair and you lean against it. So it comes in contact with your back. This is really useful for browsing tracks on Beatport. So if you're trying to find tracks that are really gonna hit in the club, well you can't browse Beatport in the club, but with a device like this, you can really feel and hear the low end unless you had a massive sound system in your home, which I doubt you do. And if you did, you'd get kicked out of your apartment. So that's what the sub pack is really great for in that respect. The second group of people that might be really interested in this are producers. If you're doing a mix down of a big dance track and you wanna know how your bass is hitting, you can A, B those tracks you know you're working in the club with the track you're working on using something like the sub pack in your studio and get a really good sense of how well that bass is moving. Again, you would literally need to have two or three 16 inch subwoofers in your space to get the same experience as you would with this device. So that's the seated style of bass augmentation device. The next ones we've got are these wearables. So sub pack has a wearable and the bass aware is a wearable. And these guys are pretty straightforward. They also couple with your back, but you put them on like a backpack. Now right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge that this does look a little bit goofy, but I gotta say, the results are worth the goofiness. So in this particular guy, you've got a clip here that will clip onto your belt or your pants or whatever you want. And there's gonna be a line that comes in from the mixer and then goes out to your headphones and then your headphones go straight in. Both of these models have battery packs. This guy has the battery pack inside of it. This one has the battery pack on one side. And so you can be completely wireless. All you need is to have, let's say your iPhone or your mixer in front of you, cable going into the input and a cable going out into your headphones. This one, the base aware, I gotta say wins points on, on the style concept here. If we can get into it. It's got some holstery-like components to it. Uh, makes me wanna... But I'm digging the style of this one. The uh, sub pack is a little bit more neoprene and, and the straps are kind of flimsy. You know, I'm, I'm gonna reserve and hold back on full reviews of each of these devices um, until I really use them a lot in the club. So the full review and the head-to-head -head battle between these two devices is gonna come later. 
In this video, I just want to show you the concepts and, and sort of get you familiar with why in the world you would want to even consider investing in something like this. Speaking of investing, these are not inexpensive. We're talking about around two to $300 for each of these devices, up to $400 for uh, some of these wearables. Not exactly cheap, but when we're talking about saving your hearing and creating an amazing mixing experience, I gotta say, it's completely worth it. For me at least, maybe it is for you as well. One of my favorite examples of how you can use these bass augmentation devices is actually performing live on stage, which is how I've personally been using this one lately, and I really like it. Here's the main reason. I personally am a huge advocate for DJing with in-ear monitors. So these are monitors that go inside of your ears and block out up to 40 decibels of outside sound. And with, when coupled with your ear, these offer an incredibly high level of fidelity and precision in the mix. Additionally, because they're blocking out all that outside noise, they save your ears. So this is huge for me. After nearly 20 years of DJing, a full set with near field monitors turned up to 11 just crucifies me the next day. So I love mixing with in-ear monitors, but one of the challenges has been the bass. You can see these things are tiny. They don't produce a lot of bass. They do produce a lot of very clear mid and high ranges, and that's where things like the sub pack really shine. So what I've been doing is taking a single eighth inch output straight into the sub pack input, which then feeds this guy, and I can adjust the intensity of how much bass is delivered there. And then I put my in-ear monitors straight out of that, clip it onto my belt, and I really like this because it keeps a lot of distance and a lot of length between me and the mixer. I can go dance around side to side, do jumping jacks, whatever I want to do in the DJ booth. And then I'm super, super locked into the mix. The combination of in-ears with bass augmentation, oh man, I've never gotten so excited about my DJing before. So that's pretty much it with me and my goofy straps and my goofy backpack. If you would like more crazy DJ technology like this, visit us on the website at djtechtools.com.